Hey, orange one here. So we got, uh, we're still at the floodlands. We've got these guys. Um, we did get, Boris did get kind of hurt, it looks like, but most people are doing okay. Um, Expendable has lost a leg. But it looks like we can't really do much about that. Or actually, hold on, they've got a robotic leg, so actually Boris can fix them up. Why are you not doing robotics job by default? Does Medic not automatically assign that? Well, I think we should be able to fix up Expendable's leg there. Which I would definitely like to do so that he can actually be involved in the fight here. And speaking of which, we should probably set someone to doing splints at the very least. Because uh, Boris's arms could be splinted. Actually, you know what, everyone, let's uh, have everyone be assigned to splint injuries job. And there's a random iron sp spider there, it's not even a security spider. I think we'll wait for them to go by. Yeah, because I would rather not fight something that we don't need to. And look, his, his arms are actually considerably in better shape. It says we're working... Oh, we're working in darkness. That's why it's taking a little bit longer than you would expect. I'm just going to go ahead and speed things up, and then we'll get going diving into here. Hopefully we have better luck this time than we did last time. Okay, so yeah, look, Expendable's on his feet again, which is great. We've got one more person in fighting condition. Um, I think it was Boris that we were using to run people in. Let's go ahead and get positioned back in our line. And Expendable's actually not even moving that slowly. I may be making another terrible mistake and we may be about to have more people die. Wait, hold on, who's Boris and other people being attacked by? Oh, it's another Iron Spider, dang it. Hold on, guys. Boris, please don't get hit by this thing. I'd rather not be engaging with the locals. Just the lab, please. I think it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's patrolling now. I forgot to get these guys on a whole job. Do something like this. Yeah, last time we did not have this issue of the random iron spiders just stumbling upon us. I think I'm feeling lucky. You know what I really think our issue is that we our leather hive um, vests, they aren't giving us enough protection, so I think what we really want to do, like if this goes poorly, which it probably will, is try and get um, chain mail production going. And I think we're going to need an engineering book, which we're not going to find in here, unfortunately. We do have a security spider. It looks like it's spotted Boris. Yeah, I think it's spotted Boris. Okay, Boris, come back out. And so there's that one that's right there. I didn't see the others. Yeah, it's still following us. So we'll just draw this thing out as far as it will come out. And I think in the last episode there was like another two on the floor above, but they were kind of glitched on their pathing. We'll see if it actually has this fight them or not. Boris, no, do not fight this thing. Come back here. Because you're the southern prince that you are, 
I'm actually not going to have you... Actually, hold on. It's not engaged. I'd rather not have our prince fight this thing. It looks like we're going to need to draw it, though. Oh, jeez. That was kind of close. Um, spendable. Why don't you see if you can attack it? So let's just get everyone coming in. And I think what we can do is kind of, yeah, we can kind of pull it like that. And it should try and attack Expendable too. Nope. Oh, Expendable, uh, just regular old Expendable went down there pretty quick, but they actually survived. Okay, everyone, get off that whole job, fix them up. He's actually doing okay, all things considered. We'll just have him not be in the front line. Him and Hazard, I think, are the two that have kind of earned, uh, earned a little vacation. So yeah, let's get you there, and everyone else will get back into the lineup. Yeah, Kyle, you're fine. And then Boris, why don't you go back in and see if you can get a little bit further. God, it's been so hot recently. I'm like literally just sweating at my computer. Like it was like, I think like 98 yesterday and 97 the day before. And I grew up with temperatures like that, kind of close to where I lived. I haven't dealt with that though for like six years. And <laughs> I don't deal well with the heat. Let's just say that. Don't tell me that those uh, those two on the bottom. Yeah, I think that the two on the bottom here were the ones on the top. I think it's being a little bit strange because I thought I think this might be our last one that we have to fight because the other two are kind of stuck under the stairway. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, that thing's getting pretty close to you, Boris. You can go at your own speed. I don't know if that's you're being slowed down by other people or not. Yeah, that thing really freaks me out how close it's getting to you. And I, yes, I know I should be using crossbows. People have told me that. And in my tutorial series, I totally talked about that, but I feel like... This is more exciting. Seeing if our uh, if our hivers can can manage. Oh jeez, it almost got you, Boris. Spendable to why don't you see if you can get towards it and then we'll have the others kinda loop around behind it. Oh jeez, it almost got him again. Oh gee, I think we may have it. Nope. Never mind. Undead is dead. Okay. Well, we lost Undead. I'm sorry, bud. And it's still going. Everyone get off of the whole job. I think Undead may be our last of our sacrifices that we're going to have to make here. I'm sorry. You've been with us for a while, too. But similar deal to last time, if you would like to be um, renamed or reborn or what, how, whatever you want to think of it as, just let me know. I'd be happy to do it. Um, just give me like another name. Oh, you actually had the uh, samurai armor, too. I'm going to actually put that on this dude. We'll do something like that. 
Maybe get the team just a little bit closer. Oh, actually, hold on. Undead's also got cybernetic limbs. So I should probably take those off of him. I think I did that with the other dude as well. I just forgot to show it on camera. We can fill all of those. Yeah, good. I'm just going to get these guys on sneak just so I've got an eye as to who's possibly seeing us. But I think we're in. I think we only lost Undead and Salsa to this place. I'm actually, while he's going in, what was the... Yeah, he got hit in the head. See, these Hype Soldiers, I was saying in the comments section in the last, video, in the last one that we did this with, it would be nice if we had a squad of all princes that way we could get some head armor on and like 90% of the time that would save the character I think I mean at least with this helmet there is some helmets that give you 100% protection yeah these dudes are totally caught I mean I'm not complaining I'll definitely take advantage of that and I remember someone saying there was like a a box that sometimes spawns on top of these research benches, but I never see it. And I can see like storage boxes with electricals, but not anything else actually useful. Was it? I think Boris was our person who had our best lock picking skill. Let's just double check that though. Lock picking is six. Wow, six? Really? That's terrible. <laughs> like, you might as well not have lockpicking skill. I suppose I could get Silas to run over here, but he's like down south. Maybe Jazz can run up here? Let's have Jazz run up here. And then I'm actually gonna have Silas run back to the anthill. Nope. Oh, Boris is almost getting caught by those dudes down there. They're making him check things out. Um, let's just look through the strong boxes. And there was a nice advanced first aid kit, which we don't have the tech for, but to be honest, I'm not really that interested in even getting that tech. Because it's so situational, you know? And I think that the ones that we have stop the bleeding pretty quick, actually. It's more than quick enough for me. And you know what, everyone else, why don't you come in as well? Because you'll actually be safer on, in here, I think. As long as these dudes don't get out from under the stairway, doing their little Harry Potter under the stairs. Watch like an owl flies in through the window. A, a motor? Really? They're going to lock up a motor. So I'm probably going to cut out some of what I just did there. I ended up having to run Silas up because some of these safes up at the top here are really hard to get into. Like uh, that safe and that ancient safe right there are pretty much impossible to get in um, with the skills that we had. So Silas, luckily, he's got much higher lock picking, so I just sent him to go do that. And I think I had sent Jazz. Jazz was um, running over to World's End. So we'll keep on getting you to go over there. And you know what, Silas? I'm going to just have you follow Boris. And I'm going to get you guys out of here. I think our haul was pretty successful. If we look here, Boris has... Wait, what? Silas, why are you limping? That's kind of weird. Boris, I just wanted to show you kind of what we got from that was... Um, you know, some CPU units basically, but also we got, if I show you Silas, I think, yeah, Silas, I'd given the ancient science books. Actually, you know what, Silas, don't, don't follow Boris, I'm just going to tell you to run home. Why don't you just come all the way to the anthill, you'll probably be there in no time. If you can path there, that is, I don't know why you didn't start running off. 
It says he's got a move order, but he's not actually moving. How kind of weird. Oh, Kenshi. You and your bugs. Uh, Jazz, yeah, you're still on a move order, so you should be fine. If I tell you to go, like, there... Yeah, okay, Silas is on his way. Good. So we'll just keep an eye on those guys. Um, I have also been thinking how I really do want to improve our leather. So if we could get these guys to come actually down south to here, and maybe do some hunting, I think that would be a good good use of our resources. Sorry, my watch is going crazy right now. You know, it's weird, like, my watch, I've got one of those smart watches, which I love. It's like a totally awesome thing, but it also is very inconsistent in what it rings on, and then it, like, updates, and it's just all over the place, you know? And they're, they're super cool. I never get as many steps as I should, but it's kind of a good reminder of, hey, you should be trying to get this done today. It helps me a little bit. We do have an iron spider that was, yeah, right there. And those these guys are not nearly as bad because their attack and whatnot is only in the 30s as opposed to the security spiders, but still something I want to avoid. But yeah, anyways, with the smartwatch, you know, I'm, I'm very tall. I'm, I think, 6 foot 8. And, you know, everyone says your goal should be 10,000 steps. So it's like if I were to take 10,000 steps, I'm going to go, like, at least 50% further than most people, you know? So I feel like it's kind of an unfair comparison. And yeah, I know I'm taller, but I'm also carrying more weight, you know? So in my mind, it doesn't really work. Saying like, oh, you need a just blanket statement. Everyone needs to get a certain number of steps. I don't know, I could be wrong, there's probably nutritional people who have looked into this and I'm just complaining because I can never actually get that the number of steps by default. Um, these guys are still... Well, he's getting close, he's getting close. I know Jazz I'm going to want to keep an eye on. I'm, I'm basically, to be completely honest, just trying to kill the last 10 minutes or so of this episode. Um, just because I'm super busy and don't have time to record and then cut stuff out later. So I'm just trying to get done what I can. When I can, you know, I think I told you guys that I was trying to move. And so this is like that that stretch now where I'm like, I don't know. Like I usually have a backlog of like four episodes of, or so, but I totally don't. Right now I've got like no backlog. Like literally, the this is the day before this episode comes out. And I've, I've got a number of people I wanted to add to the crew. But unfortunately, I don't know when I'm going to have the time to go and, and recruit the uh, the Hivers. Oh god, the game's not too happy. Expendable? Could somebody pick up Expendable? I feel like that would maybe speed us up a little bit. Hold on, Expendable. Come here. Let's pick them up. Yeah, everyone's moving considerably faster now. That's good. I feel like this is like Holy Nation territory, but we could probably cut across and, and look for something to hunt. Slash, um... Stay out of the swamps, because it's so annoying how slow they travel in the swamp. Like, why are you... why are you doing that? I don't understand. <laughs> You're just trying to make me mad now. An iron spider right there. I think we can avoid it. Yeah, it like, doesn't really seem that interested in us. And these guys are still going just fine. 
these guys, if they had those uh, those smartwatches, would be getting tons of steps. You know, they're they're running real fast, like 22 miles per hour, which always seems off to me because like I get that they're running fast, but they don't appear like they're running that fast. You know, like that doesn't look like that's 22 miles per hour to me. Like those units seem a little bit off, but maybe they're just like super big or something. Or maybe the M doesn't stand for miles, you know? Maybe they, and I heard somebody saying like the years in Kenshi is like um, 100 days. So if the years are completely off, then maybe meters and miles and all that stuff is completely different too. That's what I'm going to say to account for that difference in apparent speed. Because like that to me looks like 10 miles per hour. If that. Um, hold on. What's going on with Silas? Game, please don't crash. You can handle it. Have a long load time though. Okay, yeah, it's fine. And then Jazz. Oh, Jazz actually made it into, um, which we'll call it. Made it into the city that sells some pretty good stuff. Um, that's the mechanical shot. I I don't think we ended up checking that out to see if they had any engineering books. I'm really looking for the engineering books at this point, and I did realize somebody in the last episode had um, told me about like a library uh, down south. Sounds interesting. Definitely gotta look into that. Uh, let's just get these for now. We'll hold on to the rest. I don't know if I want an advanced science book or science, whatever it's called. I think it's an advanced science book, right? Ancient science book. I'd rather not get one of those. I'd like to get one of the engineering books because I think that's what we need for chain mail. Which would really, really help us not getting instantly killed when we get hit in the chest or the stomach. Um, yeah, not really interested in any of that stuff. The armor, though, maybe we'll check out the armor store. These guys, they don't sell anything in here, do they? I don't think there's a merchant. Yeah, there's no merchant in there. It's just a cool little place. If you've never been to World's End, that's got a lot of backstory. I think I did a whole episode about that in my other Kenshi series. So if you want to see more about that, check that out there. We've got leather pants already. That's not really what I'm looking for. Yeah. I don't know. There's the samurai cloth pants, but that's not really great armor either. There's plated drifters leather pants. We could try that. And we've got the money, we might as well. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, hold on, what? You already know that recipe? Really? I didn't realize that. Oh, we'll have to check that out. Um, Silas... I think Silas is back at base, it says. You know what's weird is, you know how I was saying how my computer gets kind of loud sometimes? It seems to do that when it's auto, like getting ready to autosave. Like, it was totally going pretty loud there, then it autosaved, and it totally went quiet. Okay, these guys look like they're doing... What? What is that? There's a nest? A nest of what? Why don't you guys come over here so we can see what this nest is? Bone dogs? Uh, we, I mean, we could kill some bone dogs. We could do that as like the end of the episode, right?
Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, we got the bone dogs coming, so I don't really have much choice. But put these guys down. And let's uh, let's just spread out a little bit. Um, maybe Boris and Danger Dom, just because. Oh, actually, Lean is hasn't got a leg. Where are you guys going? I think we're gonna we're gonna want some help on this. I've actually got kind of a bad feeling about this. I don't know. I feel like Boris and what and company are gonna. get themselves into some serious trouble. If one of them's down, but one of our guys is also down. Uh, none of the others seem to be down right now. The hazard's taken some hits. We may have, uh, may have gotten ourselves into a bad situation here. Uh, Kyle... Expendable to take the meat off that one. Yeah, we're not doing too well. This was maybe not a good move. I could maybe have Kyle fall back. Is anyone going to bleed out from their injuries? Uh, and that stomach's not great, but I don't think we're gonna die from from it. The expendable two just took that one out. That's good. That one's dead. That's there. Um. Oh, is that one down? No. That one's unconscious, though. I think we might make it. Yeah, the wounds that we're getting from this are surprisingly not so bad. Good job, Expendable. Um, that one's unconscious and dying. Oh wow, Lean, you took one out while you haven't even got a right leg. I am impressed and fairly confused. Um, I think they're they're all dead. Who's got the worst entry? Danger Dom and Hazard. First aid and first aid. Fill these guys up first. We don't want those wounds getting worse because that chest wound is actually a pretty bad already. Well, I mean, we cleared out some bone dogs. Did not expect that to be so difficult, but I think that's a pretty good to end to this episode. Um, Kyle, can you go heal this dude? Yep. That looks pretty good for now. Um, I think I'm going to end this here and we'll, we'll heal these guys up and take care of some other stuff in the next episode. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.